How to make Wix website mobile friendly. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll showcase how to actually go ahead and edit uh, your Wix website to become mobile friendly and how to edit the mobile version basically for your Wix website. So uh, obviously you would definitely need to do this uh, or these steps and make sure that the mobile version looks great because uh, about 50% of your customers would be mobile users. So not everyone is going to be using your desktop or uh, some sort of a, uh, like laptop or something, but most people would actually be using mobile devices. So you need to make sure that if you're going to start a business with Wix uh, and create a website, you need to make sure that it is uh, optimized for both uh, desktop view and also the mobile view. So let's actually go ahead and get started. So it's going to be very easy and simple. Um, first, you will need to navigate to your website and go to edit site. You, you would just go through the steps as if you would want to edit your site normally. Uh, but here's going to be the difference. So the first thing that you will need to do is make sure that the desktop version is clean and is uh, as you want it to be. Because Wix has this feature that is going to allow you to like after you're done customizing your desktop version of the page, uh, it is going to automatically um, try its best to mimic it and make it as suitable as possible for the mobile version by itself. So make sure that you take the time and make sure you set up the desktop version to become a very clean one and you love the way it looks. Now, I know mine is messy and I kind of made it this way so I can make it a little bit more obvious of the things that you can do and fix. Uh, but obviously yours would not look as messy as this one. So with that being done, so after you are done uh, with all of the things for desktop, you will need to go ahead and actually edit the things out for mobile and take it step by step. To do so, we just simply click on the mobile uh, image here so switch to mobile we just click on that and it's going to give us a page uh with the desktop uh, i mean mobile view and you can see how it's going to look like now mine does look like a mess uh, and yours could look much better than this sometimes in some situations if the desktop version is super uh like compact and clean Sometimes you don't even need to do any changes within the mobile version, but other times you should like, sometimes you would find it to be as messy as mine. So let's actually go ahead and edit things out. So let's actually start with the header because here is going to be uh, where you can add your menu items and all of those things and your logo. Uh, you can see the header here for me is quite like, it's quite taking a lot of space and it's not going to be like, uh, visually appealing when it's like this usually it's going to be a lot smaller than this and if you have elements like for example this random image that i have uh, and you want to just make it smaller it's not going to even allow you to do so because it's going to take up some space so our mission here first is going to actually go ahead uh, and make this suitable or the size is going to be suitable so let's actually do so the first thing is um, and just, just so you keep in mind, we are going to be hiding a lot of stuff within the mobile view because look, it doesn't necessarily need to match what you see on desktop because in mobile people will need to actually go ahead and scroll, keep scrolling and stuff. And if they do that too much, they can actually get fatigued and, you know, not have a great first impression. So make sure the homepage is very like compact and clean and doesn't have too much in it so here we can just go ahead and hide this element because i don't think we really need it and now we have this very huge logo of ours which uh i don't think is going to be a right size for this header of mine so uh, what we can do is actually just go ahead and make it smaller for example we can just go ahead and place it to the top left like so uh, and then we can move it manually by just holding shift and using the arrow key, keys to move it 20 pixels on down. And then we just do one more to the right. So here we go. This uh, kind of is a little bit better. So I think the menu item is missing here. 
So if yours is missing, usually it's going to be in here, but if it's missing for you, there are going to be two um, ways to fix this. It depends on what how you have it done. So uh, if you don't see it, what you can do is go back to switch uh, to desktop, go back to your desktop view. Uh, and in here, you'll need to go ahead and uh, go to pages and menu. Make sure that the layout so go to home, for example, go to settings and make sure the layout is the standard layout with the header uh, and the footer are available. Uh, if it's set to this, then it's not going to show the menu item for your phone. So make sure you set it to standard and then it should be in here in the uh, mobile view. But as you can see for mine, uh, for me, it's still not uh, in here and you cannot really add it as an element. So if that's the case for you as well, then you may have uh, hidden it by accident. Or if you have tried to work with mobile before, uh, you may find it within the hidden stuff or elements. So as you can see here, mobile menu icon is hidden. So I can just click on show and we can see that it is already in here. So here we can also adjust the sizing to be more suitable. So again, we can just do sorry, like so, we can move it to the top left, shift down, shift right, and there you go. Same goes here, we can just go ahead and place it on the top right, shift left, shift down, or maybe this looks better. Okay, so here we have our menu item and we have our uh, logo, we can make it so that the logo is still in the middle. Uh, it really depends on how you want it to be visually. So next up, we will need to actually drag this up until we have a very very small and compact um, header we don't really want it to be too long so now we go ahead and find other elements to work with so here we here we have the welcome screen which has text uh, more text and then a button so here uh, what i recommend is for the text uh, to make it a little bit uh, smaller with the phone um, view so you can just go ahead and make it for example 22 for the uh, header uh, and then for the normal text you can just make it a little bit more smaller like uh, 13 or 15 maybe and this should look uh, nice and if you want to set up more stuff we can go to settings and we can change stuff like color uh, and so on but i will just keep it like this and i think this looks much better and you can see now this section is really taking up a lot of space, more than it's needed. Um, so we can just go ahead and adjust that in a sec. But here we have the button, so we can just go ahead and keep that. And then we can just drag this up because we don't really want it to be that much bigger. Okay, so this one is attached to the other strip. So we can just drag this down a little bit and we can miss with those later on. So we can just drag this up and make it um, kind of proportionate, so uh, so to speak. Okay, so here we have our next section. So here uh, we have the other section, which has a very, very large text, and it's really not centered at all. So we can change that, uh, and we can even move it down to this section because there's plenty of sections here that we can get rid of. So if we just move this down here, we have an empty space here. So if you have an empty space, we can just go ahead and click on it. Uh, we can just hide it from there. So I guess I hid the wrong thing, hold on. So let me just take it back, select this one, and we can just delete. And now we have this one, okay. So we can just go ahead and move this section. So if I take it down, there you go. Did I just remove the welcome screen? I think I just did. So, okay, sorry. So sometimes you will get some complications like this. So, oh, this is the other column. Okay, so it's not an actual empty space. It's the other column. So um, for this, uh, we can just use those and put them in here and instead actually get rid of, of this. So we can just make it like so. So you would have some complications like that normally. Uh, you just need to play around uh, and see how to make all of those elements fit in this one space. 
Uh, and it's really just simple, it's as simple as just dragging and dropping and all of those things. So for the time being, let me just go ahead and uh, make this image much smaller, like so, so I can just at least uh, be able to adjust the text. So for the text, we will just need to go ahead and click on it and make sure we change uh, some elements to it. So we just edit text and we change it to be uh, heading one sure and then we change the font if you want to and we can just make it much 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 smaller like we said around 15 to 22 that kind of stuff so we can change the alignment to become in the middle and we can change this and move it to be in the middle like so uh, we can go ahead and drag this down a little bit so we can have more space this is not actually in the middle Okay, there you go. So we can just make it a little bit bigger now. And also the text, I think we can also make it bigger. So we can just click on it, edit text, and make sure the size is appropriate. Okay, we can make a bold and other stuff as well. So with that, we can just move on to the next section. Um, it's going to be exactly the same thing, but like I said, we don't really want to have too much. So for example, these two, uh, you can either keep them and edit them, or what I prefer to do is just hide them because we don't really need as many sections as we would want with, uh, the desktop view here, just make it as, uh, compact as possible. So for that, for example, this one, this one I would keep and just, you know, adjust it a little bit. So we can just make this a little bit bigger so we can give it more space like so. So it's more uh, vertical. So let me just go back, take this, drag it down and make it more vertical. And you can, you know, just edit things out like so and make sure, you know, you uh, hide stuff that you don't really need. And you also have this button, which is going to allow you to go back to the top. Now you can change it from within here, uh, the button elements, if you want to. Uh, but I think for the time being, that's uh, pretty much what you can do. And if you want, you can also always add stuff and add elements. So you just go ahead to the left, add to mobile, uh, and we can just add an image, add a button, uh, and so on. So for example, if you wanted to add the back to the top, you can just, uh, for example, uh, select this one and just give it a link uh, to uh, become back to the top, for example, and you can do so. So that's pretty much how to set up your phone uh, elements and stuff. Just make sure you make it as um, simple as possible. You don't want it to be too saturated with uh, all sorts of elements and stuff. So with that being said, I think you have the general idea of how to work things out within the mobile view. If you want to move things manually, you can just hold shift uh, and use the arrow keys and it's going to move two pixels. Uh, and you can just, you know, align things using this method. Uh, you can change colors and stuff here by just clicking on, for example, this button it does not suit the color uh, scheme of this. So we go to design and we just go ahead and uh, we change the background fill to become the normal color that we have. And we can change the text to become more visible by making it bold, making it bigger and so on. Uh, same goes for the other elements here. You can change uh, this and also, uh, so apparently this box, you can't really do much with it, but the text here you can change by going to settings and you can change the color of the text and stuff. Uh, so what is, what do we get from this? We try to minimize, uh, the elements that we have from desktop and mobile, just make it short and make it, um, it still has the same, uh, like important elements that we have from desktop, but at the same time, we don't have it as saturated as we have it on desktop. And also the header is like more clean and compact. Now we have our menu item here. Uh, we can just put it to the top and we can make it move the logo to the left, for example. It just, you know, we play around with things until it suits our needs. So I hope you liked this video and uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.